Hello and welcome to Eurosports coverage of the European Synchro Super Cup from Desengano, Italy. The competition is set out over four days. Compulsory figures have been already taking place. Today, day two, we're going to be concerned with the team events. Now, each team has eight members who will be marked on technical and artistic ability. Let's now take a look at the position after the compulsory figures. And there we have first four places, the Soviet Union, all scoring very well. With Sedekova in first place, 89.9 points. Kozlova from the Soviet Union also. Dolchenko, and there we have in fifth place, Schuler from France, 87.3. Sixth place, Azarova from the Soviet Union. Capron from France in seventh place and Foschka Savoia from the Soviet Union in eighth position. Joining me on commentary today is Caroline Francis, European Duet Championship, and there we have the German team already in the water. Caroline, what sort of uh, technical things should we be looking at from, from these girls? Well, the judges will be looking at two scores today. They'll be looking at a technical merit mark, which uh, concentrates on synchronization, difficulty and execution and then they'll go on to look at the artistic impression where they look for the choreography of the routine, the manner of presentation and also the interpretation of the music. Now the Germans being a disciplined country haven't really done so well in synchronized swimming. Is there any reason for that? They had a top girl back in 1984 but after she retired uh, the Germans did drop in terms of European uh, competitors but they're on the way back up now, so it's good to see them coming in in the final today. So with eight girls, it must be extremely hard, actually, to get the, the coordination right all the time. What they'll have is they'll probably have 10 or 12 swimmers working on the routine, and after the compulsory figure section, which was yesterday, they'll take the results of the top eight swimmers from the figure section and let them swim on the team routine to get the best possible marks. It's a particularly difficult move in inverted vertical with both legs out of the water. You can see that they're all wearing headdresses on their hair. That's just to keep the hair out of their face and also probably to make them look better in terms of presentation. Now a lot of competitive swimmers wear goggles. Um, presumably synchro swimmers aren't allowed to wear those? They can wear them if they want to, but again it cuts the eyes off and it probably detracts from the uh, manner of presentation and interpretation of music. But at the moment there's a lot of changes underway in synchro and we're starting to see people wearing swimming hats for routines and I think at some stage we are going to see people wearing goggles. And the German team ending up uh, good applause from the crowd, look very happy with that routine. Right, we should be looking to see scores of between 7-5 uh, and 8-8, uh, eight, eight, I would have thought. Not into the very good category of 9-10, to 10, but in the good 7-8.9. to 8 